Welcome. In this video, we'll create a database table to store travel data for our app. We'll start by creating a package and then also write a class that allows us to manipulate our database table. Let's get started. We're going to first create an ABAP package and then we're going to create a database table and then we're going to create an ABAP class to generate that data. Now, we're going to make sure that we create our ABAP package first. Let's first open up our Eclipse right here. And then we're going to go in and click on our ABAP Cloud Project, which are right here, and then click New. Make sure that you click on ABAP Package. And then you're going to put the name. So Z, um, because this is a travel app, we're going to um, put that on there. Um, so because we're going to be using the trial account, make sure to look at the packages that are already existed in ZLocal before you put a specific number. Um, this will save you a lot of time um, because the trial version of the ABAP environment is shared. So make sure that you have a unique name and make sure to add a number that is currently free or it won't you won't be able to create the package for it. So for me, um, I will be using, let's just say 703, 708 as mine um, for the suffix. And then for the description, we're going to just simply put in um, package for travel 703. Let's just say that. So I'm going to just do that right here. So I'm just gonna move this one and then do 703. And make sure that you add it to your favorites package. Um, that way you can access it easily. You don't have to, you don't wanna go, you know, looking for it in the Z local, um, Cloud projects um, where you might run into risk of accidentally, like basically choosing someone else's pa package and you don't want to do that. So let's just go to next now and then we're going to then assign a transport request and then click finish. And now our package is going to be in our favorites. So there you see our package is right here. And now we're going to go in and create the database table. So to do this, just right click on your package that we just created and then go to new and then go into um, other about repository objects. And then we're going to search in here, just search data and then it'll give you the database table right here. So then we're going to just click on that, click next. And then we're going to give this a name as well. So make sure that the name is the same as um, the suffix number that you put previously for your other um, for your package. So we're going to do Z um, and then I'm going to put for mine, I'm going to put 708 because that's the number that I picked for mine to be unique. And then for the name of this, let's do database table for 708. So. I'm just going to put 708 for mine and then just simply click next. There we go. And then choose the transport request. Same way we did the other one and the table will now be created. Um, so we have now gotten the automated um, client specific table that usually comes up in, in the editor. As you can see. So now we're going to just replace the standard script with the code snippet that we have been provided, um, which is right here in the the, the the tutorial. So we've been provided we're going to provide this code right here. And we're going to just simply just replace it into our database table. Um, so let's just do this and then boom. Now we um, have the code snippet into our editor. So I just wanna explain a few things to you guys. The table now consists of the key fields, um, client and then my key, which are right here. Um, and it also includes fields such as travel ID, agency ID, customer ID, um, the total price um, and et cetera, et cetera. So some of the um, the objects, which are the DMOs right here, they belong to the ABAP flight reference scenario examples, um, which are right here. Those will be instantly just in there for us because they're already inside of our system. So they're already pre-installed for you. 
Now we have some administrative um, data, which is created at and created by uh, last change and the uh, timestamp as well. So then you can see that we also have the table field currency code, which is right here. It's specified as the reference field for the amount fields um, booking, which is right here, booking fee and total price um, using the semantics right here, amount, currency code right here. So now we're going to just save and activate this data. Make sure that you replace all of these X's with the numbers, the, the suffix number that you um, put in for your package. So this is a mistake that I came across when I did this tutorial. So just make sure that you replace all of them with the number that you have for your suffix. Um, so now we're just going to save now and then we're going to activate it. Now that the the um, the table is now activated and saved, we're going to now create an ABAP class because you know the travel list report is basically it has it's empty, it has no data. So we want to create an ABAP class to fill the database table with some demo data. So to do this, we'll just go into our package again. We're going to right click, click new, click ABAP class, and then we're going to name this class. So we're going to go in and put in Z class, generate travel data, um, change it to your suffix number. So 708 is mine. And then description will just be class for generating the travel data. So class for generating travel data. And then click next. And then we, you will assign a transport request and then just press finish. So let's just do that. Da, da, da. So now um, our, our about class editor is now opened up for us. We're going to now follow the steps that they shown into the tutorial. So they want us to replace this code with um, this one right here, which I'm going to go over with you. So we're just going to copy here, go here. And then we're just gonna doo -doo -doo, paste it right in there. Make sure that you change the numbers, or you will not be able to activate the code or activate the class. So just change it. So I'm doing the same thing for all of these right here 708. So, yeah, so now that um, all of it is in, I'm gonna kind of go in and explain to you. Um, the code that we just entered on here. So you see the I tab right here. Um, and then we have the travel data table. So each of these are going to be um, the data. And then we cleaned the table by deleting any existing entries. So that we have the delete from here. And then we inserted the new table entries right here. Um, that we got into our iTab. And then we then output the result as a console. So this would be the console message or if it's successful. Um, you can change this. So I'm going to just do it because, you know, so I can just put, I'll just change it to you rock um, as the console message if it goes through. So let's do, let's do that. You rock. So. Now that the output message would show that um, once it has been successful. So now we're going to review the data. Click on here, then go to run as. Um, and now you can see that the, um, the written message is here. And also you can review the data, which is right here that we did. Um, we generated into our class here. We now have created a package and then within that package, we created some tables and we created a database table. We also wrote a class that allowed us to manipulate that table. So stay tuned. Um, we're going to go in, um, in the next post, we're going to expose the CDS based travel data model following this. And yeah, we'll see you on the next video. In this video, we created a package and then within the package, we created some persistence. We created a database table and we also wrote a class that allowed us to manipulate the table. 
In the next video, we will define and expose a CDS-based travel data model.